Sahab, uh, this TV and my customer service in Dubai started in 1966 when Sheikh Rashid, God gave him peace. He was my mentor and he used to sit and talk like this. Those were different times. Now, I mean, even the secretary, secretary will not give me the time to go and read. Mashallah. You know, things change. That, that's great. Things good change. to know, good to yeah. know. And uh, Sheikh Rashid would just sit on the bench and go and he will say, hi, kaisa hai? Those were different times. So what I'm trying to say is, we we have come to know about your company. We have seen this. My relatives come and they tell me that this is one of the best products they buy. So I have I have seen some videos of a Saudi poultry farms that they say even the feather of the chicken is reutilized, recycled. They make it into a feed. So what is your process into these chickens? How can a country like Pakistan have such a vast Canaan's uh, story okay. is like the pioneers of the poultry farming business in Pakistan. More than 50 years ago, a man had his own vision of translating the meat protein source into becoming a household name. And with that philosophy, and nationalistic and patriotic, die-hard, intense, were crafted together as such, where health and happiness would become the symbol of a common man's reach to staple food like chicken. So, good feed, integrated poultry farming, good poultry management, great signs, stringent hygienic control, Good feed means real good feed. No feather or back feeding with uh, uh, fish meals or uh, those type of animal uh, wastes uh, which could, you know, uh, go into like bone meals and all. The R is pure alpha alpha, uh, great uh, corn, good feed coming in from natural uh, which is Tabai uh, source. This, this feed and uh, feed milling is our own, uh, then hatching, uh, parent stock. Uh, so it's integrated poultry farming up to the finished products, value added products, which you see like burger, nugget, sausages. And going to the palate of the real food lovers is an uphill task. There is a lot. And today's customer, today's uh, housewives, uh, they are more quality conscious. They know the food uh, attributes that they are looking for. Can and does its best. And we do it with all sincerity, with all commitments, meet all international standards, compatibly as good as any Western advanced world products coming from poultry. Uh, so it's a success story. Can and has become a household name in Pakistan? Yes, it could be, but uh, people like me, I don't know what does K and N stand for. Uh, the poultry farming industry is pioneer, owner of this company. In Urdu we would say, baba e murkhbani Khalil Sattar's first name initial is K. Okay. And always in the success of a great man would go his wife's role. So, Naushaba Sattar, first name, comes N. And this I is get your story. No, it's close to my heart. Where there is a husband and wife family business, it it's is. a very seldom you come across. It very is. Seldom. And I am really glad that I Because you are fulfilling my, you know, these are the things I want to hear about. And this TV channel itself is just for, we spread the the right, uh, you know, the living standard and what is the right way to live. Very rightly put. I mean, I, 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 I admire your sense of being, uh, you're providing me with your questions, it's your profession, you do a lot, you've just narrated the story of Sheikh Rashid's days and your close proximity to him. See, I tell you what, uh, any business that you start, if the uh, purpose is to only do trading and business profiteering and carry it for a time, for a big name in the marketplace, is have some share, it doesn't end there. Philosophical commitment, conviction, leaving behind a legacy, 
carrying it forward generation after generation and changing it with the demand of time, keeping the right pace, food habits are changing. Being in food business and poultry, you know, diet, uh, conscious uh, consumer habits, market demands have changed, competition has come in, packaging has Very changed. Uh, you are bringing me to the question which I was going to ask you. We, uh, after working in Saudi Arabia with Kodak and all, my wife was in Aramco. Masha. We thought we will just go and settle down in our country. So within I think six months, I had to come back with one shirt on my body. Ah, Masha. No, Masha, Masha. The people who grab the money from you, you know, put in this scheme, put in that scheme. We were newcomers to our country. So we lost everything. I had to come back again with one shirt and start all over again. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, at that time, people would never touch a frozen chicken or anything. Uh -huh. There was still no, it should be freshly slaughtered, it should be fresh. How did you overcome that stagnation in our country, number one? Number two is, uh, what is the status of the industry normally? Sorry if I say so, in my country, you start with good intentions, 20 years, 30 years, things start going, you know, it starts to just... Uh, I don't know the word, I don't want to use that word, it just drops down. Then the standards are not looked at, then they start cutting corners. How did you maintain that standard? Uh, see, Saudi, I had been in Saudi Arabia for more than 20 years. I have seen Saudi Arabian market changing in the poultry business. Let's be confined to the poultry subject. Uh, in overall terms, Saudi market had a great change. Live bird eating habits, like you said, slaughtering in front of you. But yes, seeing is believing. People would say halal. Uh, imported chicken, halal is questionable. No, sorry, I didn't mean halal. That is maybe they trust or not. But, but it's the frozen thing is yeah, not fresh. And, and, and they uh, don't know how the long they quality, quality preservation yeah. in deep frozen, instant quick freezing uh, through blast freezing minus 45 degree is as great as a fresh, in fact more. The bacteria's formation time is not at all given to a IQF products like frozen. In the olden days, maybe technology was not that advanced, so the belief was fresh is freshest. But as we speak, science and technology coupled with the uh, advancement of society in product acceptance through technically and uh, scientifically meeting these standards. So the conformity to the standards in frozen product is more accurate and more serving and that's why educated people who would understand the technicalities of it would think that the frozen product is more safer. Food safety, the hazard analysis critical control point. Just to compare, when, when we used to buy fresh chicken, sorry, it may look very odd on the team but we had to hold our nose to go into that shop. You understand where I'm going with this? Absolutely, I fresh, know. But it's not in a hygienic condition. It used to be, and still it is not trustworthy to buy those fresh chickens from the corner shop, not knowing the knives are rusted or the flies are coming in. Uh, and it is much. washed his hands. Uh, and, so and, and what uh, disease which is, unless he's medically tested, uh, he's carrying, is a carrier. So. Uh, this uh, hazard analysis critical control point, the uh, companies like KNNs, more advanced companies in the world, are hell bent upon to prove that the quality product meets uh, all standards, medically certified, hygienically controlled, and good for health, uh, good food. So that is one thing to answer you that way, maybe 20 years ago, but today. Each housewife would like to have for the convenience, easy frozen product available, convenience. They, need, they use it when they need it. They don't have Absolutely. to constantly running. Uh, the days have changed. The uh, values have changed. The demand and uh, the time constraint for each family pressing hard. Guest has come. You have to prepare food uh, immediately. Uh, shops now, may be closed. Up that question about how do you maintain your standard for now, such a long time? Now, you said 50 years. 50 years. Wow, that surprises me. You see, uh, first of all, uh, the owner of the company is a certified poultry man himself. He had been the chairman 
of poultry association his poultry knowledge he's just not an entrepreneur an investor a man who operates through certain ceos and high senior management team uh, i am one of he's them a so, guy. he is a roll up your sleeve dirty your hand he knows he has grown through he knows things during those times, if I remember, when I was there in '84, as a student, I am a hotel hotel year. Masha. So you know, Shangri-La. Yes. Yes. They hired me for one year. I I left that with maybe been three months old. I thought I was looking at a chef from a uh, Ho Chi Minh city or. <laughs> <laughs> so Shangri-La, you know, Mr. Azhar Khan's elder brother, Brigadier Aslam. Okay. That belongs to him, and poultry used to come from Ahmedabad because of Mr. Uh, As. Azhar Khan's poultry farm. Okay. So those days, 84 also, still the poultry farms were like that. In Murray and Aftabad uh, and Pakistan, so how were still competing with those things? In Pakistan, it came late. Uh, the frozen products or the value-added products. Uh, in Pakistan, primitive old grandmother chicken ka darba was still, you know, in vogue. Uh, like you said, mid-80s, late-80s. In Pakistan, poultry uh, market is, is still learning. Is still growing, advancement is taking place, standards we maintain through sheer good commitments, uh, jealously guarding our uh, products upkeep, maintained through third party retail outlets as we desire, so that by the time it's produced and traveled through the logistic cold chain distribution system, the placement product positioning is all done through very critical and minutely watched regulated, controlled by giving our standards. That's okay. Uh, that's understood. My point, because I do training in customer service, and how do you train those people to always be motivated to perform the same perfect way they are doing? Habit becomes the second are they nature. On that Hab do you uh, no, no. We, 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 we do watch, we do regulate, uh, we uh, go through different procedures to sh ensure that this is being followed and religiously followed. You see, human being negligence are there, sometimes there are small shortcomings. Uh, we go, we check, we ask them, uh, business will not flourish. We have our own outlets, uh, k &N dedicated shops. Um, uh, we show the standards of freezing uh, products being displayed at what temperature, how served, uh, we groom. We also, like you are a trainer, uh, we do train into the good housewives, habits of keeping and preparation of products. Our products will carry inst inst instructions on the packaging. So, uh, but still, uh, there is always uh, shortcomings out there. Now, now, uh, now I think you will fulfill my desire. I was can you say you do train, it's just by the printing on that packaging or do you have any classes, any videos which we could play on our No, TV? we uh, we don't have that kind of institute or that kind of institutional uh, um, way of making people learn. No, any videos which you have? But our, our, our uh, documentaries to, of chicken production processing plan, uh, how it uh, operates, um, the, will, you, will you be kind enough to send me those so we could play it on our team? Yes, we can. I, I'll give you after we finish up with this formal yeah, discussion. You send it from uh, the no, no, I'll you give you right card. away. Okay. I'll give you right away a CD. Um, that will indicate. And people know in Pakistan we run uh, our uh, commercials uh, spread over different many, many seconds to one and a half minutes, two minutes, and we show. And people in Pakistan, not only word of mouth, uh, through our advertisement, which is more educating. We just don't advertise only the logos or only new product. We try our bit to put in few lines which become educative and uh, kind of uh, learning uh, that can one be happy about. Correct. So, so that makes you as the champions or the people who know what they are doing. Of course, sure. Yeah. I think the now, one thing which I couldn't see here: any chicken or poultry farm or poultry industry will also have chicken cubes, the consomme and the. Do you also make those cubes? Gee, we we do. Okay, I didn't see it because anywhere. No, I, I, I have some uh, literature on that. Okay. Uh, in our commercials, we show, um, 
and the, you will we have chicken cube it's named as stock s t o k and uh, it's very quality it's All very right. quality it's okay, I'll Thank take your so time much. now. Thank you very, very nice. much. I know how busy you are, but, ah, but you, you gave us your time. Uh,